what does today's announcement mean for the average user from Governor Holcomb's so, proposal? So pretty much all households based, if the, assuming the proposal passes, all households will be getting uh, some cash refund. Then the purpose of that is to help offset some of the rising prices that, that households are dealing with this summer. And then uh, what exactly needs to happen for this proposal to go in effect since session is out? Yeah, so the, the governor is asking for a special legislative session to, to get it passed in a timely manner. Uh, once it's passed, it could go to um, families uh, as soon as July or, or maybe August. And then will this go to everyone or will this only apply to those who are receiving that extra $125 bonus uh, from the surplus? I believe, in, and some of the details are, are still to be worked out, but it will go to essentially almost all households that are paying Indiana taxes or filing Indiana tax returns. And then uh, do you think that 2020 files is a good start, something, something more should be done, or uh, what can help uh, the inflation rate in Indiana? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a tough one. The... Um, it, it's certainly not enough money to uh, offset all of the impact of higher inflation, uh, but inflation is a global phenomenon right now. We're seeing it all over the world, all across the United States. So it's probably not reasonable that the state of Indiana can just come in and, and provide enough money to offset everything. So I, I think this is a, um, a, a reasonable way to try to help families that, that are being hurt the most. Okay, now uh, kind of think a little bit in the future. How do you see this money uh, quickly uh, helping out Hoosiers and then uh, local businesses as well? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a little bit of economic stimulus. Uh, of course, that's not necessarily the best thing right now. Part of the reason we have inflation is because the economy is really strong and people are out there spending and people are out there taking road trips and buying gas. And, and that's the reason some of these prices are so high. So in, in some ways, that's not the best. But what we really know is that there's a lot of households that are, are maybe in the lower income brackets that are really being hurt by especially high food prices and high gas prices. And then uh, what's something that you've been, uh, your fellow economists at uh, Kelly have been talking about as far as the future of the inflation, whether that's going to keep rising or slowly taper off? Yeah, we, we think that uh, inflation will be tapering off this summer. We know that gas prices are always highest in the summer. So we expect that to deal with high gas prices for two or three more months. Hopefully we see some relief there in the fall. Other prices, I think inflation will start coming down here pretty quick. And, and so that'll feel a little bit better. Then once the legislative session does officially get ramped up back in the fall, do you think any more, uh, legislative action will uh, take place to help the economy again? Uh, you know, probably not, but that's okay. I, I think what we really need to do is, is have the government kind of help households get through this. There are a lot of legislative priorities that, that I think the legislature should be focused on and ways to invest that money into the Indiana future and, and education um, and infrastructure, other areas that, that should be higher priorities for our government. 